What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to film and edit a zoom through transition that looks just like this. And it's pretty easy. So let's go ahead and head on site. A zoom through transition is basically two shots. And so what we're gonna, what we're gonna do in this example is we're gonna do a straight front of house shot. And then we're gonna do one interior shot leading in. Let's grab our gear and we'll head inside and we'll, uh, we'll get set up. Once you get really comfortable with shooting really simple shots, then you can definitely explore more and get more to more like advanced shots. But it's always a good idea to start with very, very simple, simple shots. And you'd be really surprised. Even though these are simple shots, they still look extremely effective as we'll see right now. So we're gonna head outside and get our first shot. So on this first exterior shot, it's gonna be the same for the interior too. I actually like to pick something on the house, like a target. Once I have that target in mind, I'm gonna use that target and I'm just gonna walk straight to it and just make that like exactly where I wanna head. And that gives me like a, a point of focus to go right toward. But you wanna get comfortable with the path from A to B and do it two or three times until you feel really good about the shot that you got. So now let's head inside and we'll get the other shot. So our first option would be to do a straight walk through here and then a small turn at the end, which would be a killer shot. That's super nice, but it does require a little bit more effort and finesse by actually turning the camera at some point during the walk. So another shot that I have in mind is a shot from right here. And if I just do this like a straight walk here, that will look just as good of a shot and it's gonna be a lot easier for me to achieve. All right, I think that was a great shot. So now we're gonna go back into the computer and we're gonna see how to edit those two shots together. I shot this at 4K at 120 frames per second and I want my final output to be at 30 frames per second. So I'm gonna right click on one of these clips and hit new project. I'm gonna to go to 4K and I'm gonna hit 29.97. So I've got it where I want it for this particular clip, but now let's get our second clip. And I kind of had this set up already as well, but if you didn't have this set up, you can see the little yellow box is showing you where, what area is selected. But let's say you didn't, you know, you could basically just scrub like this and pick your spot. So like hit I for in, and then over here, Put your mouse over here and hit O for out. And then once you have that, you're gonna hit Q and that's gonna bring that onto the timeline. I don't wanna have any area in my clip where there's like a stall or anything like that because that's not gonna be good. Right now it's playing at 120 frames a second, so that's in real time. I'm gonna change this to slow all the footage down to 25%. Shot at 120 frames a second. If I change it to 25%, that's going to bring it down to that 30 frames a second. So I have a shortcut key set on mine for Shift S and that will slow the footage down to 25%. If you don't have a shortcut key set up, you can always go to this Retime tool, just select your clip, go to Retime and hit Slow and then whatever your preference is. It doesn't necessarily have to be 25%. If you're shooting at 60 frames per second, you wanna slow it down to 30 frames a second, then you just do it by 50%. So the next thing we wanna do is create a speed break so that we can start ramping this up. So I'm gonna say, let's start from right here. And once I have my mouse over the part that I wanna start the ramping up, I'm gonna hit Shift B and that creates a speed break. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the second half, the back half of this speed break, and then you're gonna hit go to fast. And on this, I'm just gonna choose something you know you can do two times four times eight times a lot of times my starting point will be at like 20 times and i think that ends up looking pretty good now that we've sped this clip up and you can see it right here what i'm going to do is grab the handles on this speed brake and slide them all the way over and slide this one all the way over here again all these uh decisions would be you know once I have the music on the timeline, that's really gonna dictate where I would actually put these speed breaks. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, cool. So now let's go to the second half of the clip. And basically this is gonna be our ramp down. It's, a, it's gonna work the opposite. 
So we're gonna go to where we want the speed ramp to start slowing down and let's say like basically right here, like when we're getting into this room. So I'm gonna hit shift B, I'm gonna do it 20 times. And then I'm gonna do the same thing where I grab these gray handles and move them over and see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. So I did notice there's a little bit of a stall out right here. It seems to stall just a little bit, actually. And now that I'm seeing this clip again, I can see like, I didn't really pick the best spot. Like it starts right there and then I turned my camera just a little bit. So I could do one of two things. I could start this over. Instead of doing that, I'm just gonna try this and see if I just cut that off if it looks a little bit better. That looks good. So a couple other things that we wanna to do to enhance the way the overall aesthetic of this is we wanna add some motion blur. And this one is called Moderate Motion Blur. I believe I got this from Ryan Nangle. So I'm gonna to link to that below this video. So I, I highly recommend picking that up. Just grab this title and drag it right on top here. And you can see that once you place it on top, it's adding an even more like a zoom effect. So if we toggle this on and off by hitting V, so it just makes this even more dramatic looking. And that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more content just like this and we'll see you on the next one.